Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the uh, Motorcycle Rescuer Garage. I am the Motorcycle Rescuer. Um, I've just released a video about 20 minutes ago. That was the DNA from yesterday. It has no spark. I've ordered a new CDI for it. Uh, that may or may not resolve the issue. It may need a stator, it may need a new wiring loom, it may need um, burning. But I have now finally got all the parts I need for this Lexmoto Diablo. These guys, in my opinion, are the best looking uh, mopeds out there, Chinese mopeds out there. Um, they just, they have such slick lines. Obviously you can't see it right now. But overall, um, they're so slick to look at. Uh, parts are cheap. The engines are generally quite robust. Um, I know that's not looking too healthy right now, but generally they are. Uh, what route did I go down in the end? Uh, Euro scooter parts ignored me, and to be fair, they did send me a free um, postage label to send that back, but that's useless now, I think, and also I couldn't print the label. Every time I tried to open it, it literally wouldn't open. Uh, I asked for some sort of refund, which they didn't give. I asked for half which still would have made them some profit, guys. They, they buy these for pennies from China. Uh, so, uh, your scooter parts, a bit of a letdown there, and I'm, I don't mind exposing them. I've left them negative feedback on their eBay page. And if they want to give me some sort of refund, I'll, I'll consider changing it. But um, what I've done is I used uh, CMPO, I think, and VMP to order the original parts for this bike, at least what I believe is the original parts and I'm going to have to use the original cylinder which I told you guys last time wasn't great and it's not but it's also not the worst ever with new rings it's probably workable I think it'll be fine I think it'll start and run and ride um, this little crack is a bit nerve-wracking down there actually look but again I think we'll make it work potentially well uh, buying the actual rings and piston only now cost still close to how much a rebuild kit would have been but no one could tell me what kit this was and I just I don't want to keep spending 40 50 quids on ones when people say yes it's the right one and then it's not apparently this is the newer engine that should have a fuel injection module and then I, I argued that and said, well, no, this is completely standard setup, which it is, guys. And they said, well, yeah, maybe that engine was released with a carb for a very brief amount of time, which is why it's quite hard to find the right bore. Um, you may find that a bore from another Lex motor might fit, but again, it's not worth the hassle. Anyway, I've kind of got the parts I need to reassemble the bike with its basic piston, new rings, and a bore that's looking slightly touchy but should be okay um, I'm very happy to throw in a new engine to this bike so whoever takes this off me I prefer them to be local I may give this one to Warren if it starts today um, because I, I'll, I'm happy to chuck in a new engine I love this shape um, so when it's time uh, anyway I'm not gonna overly film this today guys because I'm just I'm kind of just not in the mood I've released lots of videos day by day at the moment but I'm going to give you a touch of what's going on it's the same as last time so I'll take this oversized piston off and I'll put the new one on uh, it's two stroke oil reassemble the old bore reassemble the head um, I've built engines guys I've, I've done top ends a few times over the over the years but I am not it's not second nature to me that's the truth so some things I still have to look up myself when it comes to reassembling the cam I'm going to have to look it up myself because I, I won't know how to set it all kind of for top dead center. But uh, there's so many channels on YouTube now that show you how to do it, including mine. I've probably shown you how to do it in the past. That, uh, that bit's easy. For now, though, scrape off the old gaskets, 
put on the new gaskets and um, and start reassembling, get it torqued down, make sure the plastic cover goes around it. Once it's kind of all torqued and back together and you're looking at the valves, then you're one step you know, in the right direction. So guys, I may have failed at the first hurdle. When you buy these kits, they come with nothing. You think the piston, right, would come with the, the, the guide pin and the, um, the snap rings on the end, wouldn't you? I mean, I, 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 it was clear that it didn't come with rings, but it didn't come with anything, and I haven't got the originals. Um, you wouldn't use the same, um, what's it called, Gideon pin or Gideon pin? Uh, such a pain. I want to either rebuild this engine with a, a 150 kit or just drop in another engine. I wish I could just work out exactly what I was looking for. If anyone can help me, guys, here's my top end. See, last time it was close. Let me show you something. You know, it, it was close, but the the holes, the distance is slightly different. Um, and this extra bit here wasn't on here and I knew that now I've got this shape it comes in here round in here and up uh, So I'd love to find a rebuild kit because you know, I've just spent 30 quid on bits I can't use Because they're rubbish because they they don't have the right pin Which is a pain, but um, I do want to rebuild this engine or I do want this to be a running bike basically uh, the other thing I'm not sure about, so it's got a an engine mount here, and the engine mount is just under the cylinder head, that's good to know, so it's a bottom end engine mount, and uh, it's got this rear, and it's a disc, uh, and it's a single sided swing arm, that's good to know for second hand engines, because I've been looking at FMR and FMX engines to see if they slot in so it's a bottom mount down there your bottom mount as well a reliable 50cc Piaggio sit engine in a great bodied Lexmoto Diablo Hmm, an engine that already hasn't worked. Where's the uh, stator wires here? It's uh, up here, up here, up here, up here. It's two yellows, a green, a black, and a blue. Yeah, no. All right, I'm going to get back online, see what we're working with. I just want an FMX or a, I just want an engine to slot in guys, I'll chuck it in in minutes. Okay guys, just before I gave up, I tried, um, I chopped down the Gideon pin from the bigger one, so it needed it, oh, a touch chopping off, which I did, there you can see the hacksaw, um, I can't see the spare piece, but it's, it's fairly tiny, um, I mean this isn't good practice guys, you know. That pin, I think that pin's fine, but it's not good practice. Everything needs to be kind of milled positionally, so that kind of chop isn't ideal, although I don't think it will affect the running of this bike. What will affect the running of the bike is that dodgy cylinder. Uh, this one here. I don't think the piston travels down enough to go near this crack at the bottom, so I'm not too worried about that. But, I, uh, but the cylinder's not in the best shape. I am going to keep going for now because I've, I've passed one part, so the next part, it's almost practice for me guys, I want to put this engine back together, I'd love to hear it today, but highly, highly unlikely. Um, so uh, I'm going to keep going on this one, I'm going to put on the new gasket because I've got it anyway, I'll scrape this old one off here, it's quite, um, it's quite plasticky now, so that's a bit of a pain, but I'll work it out. And uh, yeah, keep going, keep building. See if I can get it all set up appropriately. See what I've got left and what I haven't chucked. I can see the um, 
tension, chain tensioner, which is good, the cam chain. Right, keep going. So guys, I did have to pop the piston uh, back off because I didn't put the rings on. Uh, and I don't like pretending I've done everything perfectly, I like to be honest. So uh, off and back on, it's all good, it's all in, it's all ready to go. Uh, don't forget the bottom gasket for the cylinder head. That's the next step. Next step is putting the cylinder head with the new bottom gasket on. Sliding it down, getting it all set up and into place. And then I believe we do the f two... Do we do them two screws first on the outside? I can't remember. Potentially we do. Uh, I can't remember if this goes up right or down either. That's, it must be... Uh, well, it's obviously this way because of the chain. Yep, of course. Also, look, I missed a bit of gasket. I better scrape that off while it's still here and easy to do. Otherwise, that's going to be a right pain. Not sure if I've got... See, that's another part of not buying a kit, guys. I don't know if I've got that gasket I should have to be fair in with the other kit um, otherwise I've got gasket maker I've always got gasket maker which is great stuff for um, occasions like this so put the chain through the chains there chain through slide it all down piston in I'm gonna put some two stroke over it get it all kind of lathered up and uh, so that it's all nice and gentle because once that's on now I want that to be on and stay on if I'm being honest I don't want to mess at all with that anymore um, and I seem to nearly always end up having to take it back off so I want it down, seated, settled ready for the uh, top end um, the valves to go back on and interesting da -da 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 -da. yeah okay yes right let's carry on guys Alright guys, so uh, currently we have a piston, lots of two-stroke and a cylinder. Um, so for all intents and purposes, that is currently a uh, piston and cylinder that should have compression. Some. Uh, but it's like 10 past 11, so it's uh, lunchtime for me. So I'm going to pop down to co-op and uh, grab something to eat, get a drink, be back, and then continue with this, um, I don't know what, this project really that's it it's a project um i really do want to get a decent engine for this what i'm going to do i've just realized guys the this company sent me the right vmp sent me the right gasket right pistons and right cylinder i'm going to ask them what 150 kit they have the equivalent and then that should solve all of our problems they should send me the right one something like that so there you go guys, we've got the main kind of bulk back together there, the head's on. Um, that's that's good, it's not it's not nicked down of course, but these two bolts go in first, but we have to put in the plastic shielding, that's what keeps these engines cool. Uh, and it was a right pain in the arse, uh, I don't know which one it is, it's that one I believe, so I need to kind of squeeze that in, and then I need to be able to nick down them two bolts. Uh, I wonder if I can nip down them two bolts and then squeeze that in. That might be the best bet. Uh, and then it's about putting on the wheel. See, I, I have no idea now. Look, what's top dead center, what's not. I guess I need to get that to top dead center first. And then... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm winging this one, guys. Uh, these two bolts first and the plastic shielding somehow at some point. Alright guys, so that, that's kind of one of the toughest parts, getting the shield and them two bolts in. They're behind there, they are in, um, and they're torqued. I've torqued them to um, four fingers tight and five fingers tight. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just tightening them up, guys. Honestly, I'm not following any torque settings because I don't expect this to last more than five minutes. Uh, although, um, you know, you know why, why wouldn't it? I, I'm, I'm the most critical of my own work, guys, even when I'm doing a good job. And at the moment, I think it's safe to say that we're doing a good job. The piston moves up and down. Um, it pushes compression. As long as we add some spark and fuel to that, this should fire up. Um, we then need to get all that old oil out and any bits of um, metal, shrapnel that's in there out. Flush it a couple of times over the next couple of days, which is fine. I haven't got much to do. And uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll probably just give this bike to Warren on the same condition 
it, listen, guys, this is extremely um, high hopes if it starts up. But if it does, I might just give it to him on the condition that if or when it breaks, that I'll, I'll sort it out. Just bring it back to me. I'll sort it out. I'd love to buy a full panel set for this bike and maybe just keep it as one of my own. But um, giving it to Warren, he's a, he's a dropper, a bit like um, Sultan. They're droppers. Um, yeah, so no point going mint at this stage. But when I get it back with a new engine rebuild, uh, maybe uh, I'll buy some brand new panels for it. Let's see, what's next? Um, what is next? God, I don't even know. Uh... Oh, I guess we put on the um, cam sprocket and chain. How on earth do we time this? I think it just sits parallel. I think we get top dead center down there like we did before. And then I think it sits parallel like this with the casing. I think that's top dead center. We'll soon find out. So guys, as you know, I'm only really messing with this engine because I've got the parts. There's your T there, and that lines up with your light mark here. That's your timing mark right there. Then, you want these lines here, the two circles. You see, you've got one there and one there, the bottom ones, and these ones, to be fair. They need to line up in line with the cylinder head there, you see. So that should be timed, technically, that should be timed. Now it's hard to know if you need to be one over or one down, you've got to kind of choose your angle wisely. Uh, to me that looks right, but it could be that you need to um, move it across one at some point. Now the other thing is the bolts don't line up, so you need to put a screwdriver in down there and just get that bit to spin so that we can line up the bolts and chuck the bolts in and torque them up. From that stage guys, where this part is, is done, really, uh, bolt down the head obviously if you expected this to last forever use your torque settings um, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with everyone I'm not, I'm not bothering on this occasion right now but um, you do follow the torque settings have a torque because you're, you want yours to last a long time and, and this I'm just playing with I, I don't expect this engine to be any good uh, okay so I'm going to carry on for a bit we're going to see how lucky I am how uh, lucky I get and if this by some miracle starts up in an hour's time I mean it's extremely unlikely uh, absolutely unlikely but you also never know it'd be nice to hear an engine today wouldn't it has it got its exhaust on? <coughs> no of course not that would be too easy wouldn't it alright I'm going to carry on bodging away the project okay guys so surprisingly it's all coming together uh, it does surprise me because don't normally expect it to. Uh, let's get this torqued down. Let's get the uh, cam chain tightener on. That's important. That goes there. I don't even know what kind of tightener it is. Is it a push down one? Oh, I think I think we need to collapse it, and then we push it back down let me have a play with it so guys take the screw out let's see you see there's a flathead in there turn it and you'll see that this pushes up however it's on a spring so it'll push back down unless you put the screw back in turn it all the way up okay and then um, and then you put the screw in and then you bolt this down and then you take the screw out and it should spout and it should hit the chain and then you put the screw back in, I think. Yes. So by turning that right clockwise, it definitely goes in. Now what I'm not sure about is how we keep it in. I think you put the screw back in, let's have a look. So you turn the little flathead uh, clockwise, that brings it up and in and then you put the screw back in that holds it together. When you've bolted this back down, you take that screw out, you'll hear it go ka-ching, it will pop out and then you put the screw back in and that sets it. That's your automatic cam chain tensioner. It's fairly simple. Uh, they're all quite similar, guys, on all bikes, actually, even big bikes. This is uh, the same version that was on the FZR600. And, uh, and, and likewise, 
You can buy automatic tensioners. Some of these tensioners on bigger bikes are known for being a pain in the ass. So you buy ones that look exactly like this, but you nip it up every couple of months, just a quarter of a turn. Um, to, act, to be fair, you'd probably nip it a tiny bit every six months or when you got a bit of a rattle. Because uh, again, these are known for not being that accurate. But uh, this will do its job, so uh, chuck it back in. I'm going to see if I've got a new gasket. Otherwise, I should have left the other side on instead of scraping it off and that would have evened it out. Now I need to scrape it all off. Oh, it popped out. You see that, guys? It popped out. So when you are putting it back in, you probably need to be quite quick with it. Uh, I think I've got a new gasket in one of the sets, so I'm going to find it. Okay, guys, so uh, chain tensioner. Right, where is the big Phillips? Literally just had it. Um, there it is. Right, check this out. So, it's all in and bolted and the gasket's on. Then take this off. Listen. Now it should have snapped down. I'm not sure if it did. Let's put a little flathead in. There you go. Okay, so now that I felt that. Alright, so that's gone down exactly where it should be. You can check on here, it should have taken up the slack, lovely. Uh, and then throw that back in and that holds it where it should be except of course if it gets a little bit more slack then it will automatically adjust that's the whole point of it so there's your system what what um, is worth noting there guys if you're doing this yourself is that wait to hear the click okay wait and hear the click if you don't hear a click then it hasn't gone down and then if you run it like that you could be screwed so wait and hear the click and then help it out, use it like I just did. Put the little screwdriver in, wait for it, and you'll hear it click. And then uh, you're in a better position than you are if it doesn't click, because it, it's bound to skip a tooth. So there you go, so that chain is tension, that's lovely. Um, I, I'm still kind of shocking myself as to how well this build's going, guys, but uh, I'm gonna carry on. Uh, this bike could start up today. Bloody hell. Uh, okay, so um, let me talk down the uh, the head here, and um, there is a bracket I remember taking off. It's this one actually. I have no idea what it does, but I remember it being a U shape. So I remember it being like, like, oh, obviously not. Does it go like that, or does it go like that? Or does it even matter? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. I, I said you, it could have been a C. Oh, hang on, it's not a C, it's back to front C. I'm not that bothered. Uh, let me get this all, let's get this head torqued down. That's the next step. Now, I'm not necessarily going to use my torque quench, but I am going to do the cross pattern, guys. It's really important. Half a turn, 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 blah, 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 to get it all seated, nice and straight, okay? Um, and then, God, and then somehow I'm going to turn it over by hand and just make sure it all feels okay. And then I guess we'll be throwing on a carb. God, I really wasn't expecting this this morning, guys, I have to be honest. Okay guys, so uh, you see this, this protrudes up this, so it can't be that way, it has to be this way, makes sense. Also there's an oil channel there which this kind of incorporates, uh, so you couldn't flush it down like this. So a C shape, when looking at the engine from this side, C shape, uh, I remembered it being a U but it doesn't fit, so it is definitely this C shape. Uh, same thing, talk them down, go by hand first and then uh, very gently in a cross pattern like I already said like that don't go too nuts guys it's a chinese engine these things snap left right and center and then you've done all the hard work for nothing be extremely gentle with everything you do uh, see look that's a uh, that's four finger tight and if you add the pinky you get five finger tight which is not what we're doing guys okay oh loosening it's a 12 See, use the same pressure, same stance on each hand, feel the same torque, that's it, and then go back round, feel the same torque, there's a quarter, 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 
quarter, quarter, quarter, quarter. That one's tighter than the others, guys. So uh, let's uh, let's join them up. Quarter. Quarter, quarter, that one's, there you go. Right, so let's go back round, so we go there. Look how I'm holding the ratchet. I'm not putting any pressure on it there, there. Because at the moment, we're just squashing the gaskets here. We're just seating the gaskets. Now I am gonna put my two hands on it, but I'm still gonna do quarter turn maximum. In fact, I'm not even gonna do quarter turn, guys. I'm gonna do half of a quarter turn, whatever that is. Um, if you were like me, you weren't using your torque wrench, which I've got a torque wrench in there, guys. It's not the end of the world to pull it out and look at the torque settings online. That's what you should do. Um, but if uh, you're not, you can also put a touch of um, of uh, thread lock on there. Bloody hell. Couldn't you find a three litre? Um, oh, sorry, dudes. It's locked. Um, one minute. Uh, one minute. So, um... Yeah, you can always put a touch of thread lock on, guys, if you're worried about it, or your torque scenes, and go a tiny bit under your torque. Um, again, because it's a Chinese engine. Uh, all right. I've proper... Um, I'm working on the project. Did you get the, the word, the project? Um, it might start, mate, in half an hour. Yeah, you said about the Vespa, it took us about The Vespa starts, the Vespa starts. Well, after three to five working days. I'm locking up in in case your friend comes back. Which friend? Your friend who bought your bike. He hasn't re- he hasn't recontacted. I think he knew he was being a bit of a... I, I did defend you in my videos. I said it absolutely wasn't your fault. Nothing happened. He's got... Something that was a bit like misaligned, like, even if it's something that's not even like a major fault, then as well, motorcycle rescuer and uh, whatever my name is, uh, you're the motorcycle nurse, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, um, then we would at least like own up and like fix it. That's the whole point. I mean, I have talked to him, he had two options he was he could have dropped me the bike yesterday to look at oh. no thanks, buddy. I've got plenty down there, mate. <laughs> he was to drop me the bike yesterday, or he's to drop us the bike on Saturday. It's as simple as that. Yeah, all he has to do is contact. It is literally a front mud guard that is vibrating. And that's not even like a mechanical issue. Like it's like four riding. screws. Pop it off. Chuck some washers on. Pop it back on. I've just rebuilt this engine. Like proper. I'm not going to call it bodge because it's not bodge. I've done it. Yeah, have a seat on my chair, mate. Don't worry. Yeah. The king is um, back. I, I believe I've done it properly, but I've had to do some things like I had to trim down the Gideon pin, which is the pin that holds the piston on. Uh, which is kind of a bit, a bit dodgy, but not really. It's fine. Uh, and and I got a new piston and new rings. And I'm using the old cylinder head that was a bit dodgy as well. Make sense? I'm actually at the stage where I should turn it over by hand to see if it it feels okay. Can't you never get work to do? Feels quite solid actually, but um, oh, it feels really solid. Should it feel that solid? Oh, it feels really solid. Neither do I. Should it just turn by hand? Don't know. Are you working from home now? It's an automatic. Uh, I've got two weeks off, mate. Uh, oh, because of the holidays as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're the same stick as all the other youngsters and the young team and everything, basically. You know, as so the they people. Get holiday, you get holiday as well. Kinda, yeah. yeah. Not yeah, always. Alright, guys. You know what? Technically, apart from there being no petrol in the. Um, carb yet technically this bike should fire up um is the spark in i don't even know what's this is this the what's that choke is that automatic choke um car this is so weird guys i don't feel like i've done a good enough job for this to to fire today but i this there's a chance it does it shouldn't do. Um, but I am going to turn it over. Where's the coil? Oh, it looks right down there on the floor. The spark plug's in there. Look. Um, I, I don't know, guys. I, I'm extremely... It's unlikely. It's, it's almost impossible. 
Uh, hasn't got an exhaust. Will a four stroke start? We'll start without an exhaust, won't it? What was the, um, the It'd be good just to see if it turns over. Should we just turn it? Yeah. Just to see if oh, that's it, guys. We'll just turn it and then we'll throw an exhaust on. We'll get some fuel going around, get the two stroke pumping, get the four stroke pumping. I guess so I'm just going to use my normal bullshitting skills here. Um, I'll say um, the engine's just not like fully primed or anything like that. That's my guess. The timing could be off, the valves could be too tight, anything like that. But they didn't seem it, they seemed fine. I did have a look. Uh, I believe the engine was at top dead center. None of that would stop it. Turning. I'm going to bring the car up. I'm going to do two things, right? We'll chuck the exhaust on and bring the car up. Before you get your car battery out, do you want to tell them that your, your crazy bad scientist um, idea of so what's going on? No, no, no. Oh, you, know that you want to hook up the no, 50... No, you want to hook it up. I All right, guys. Sultan is talking about the answer to the question. Uh, I'm surprised none of you had a guess yesterday, guys. Um, the, so Sultan asked me the answer. Why didn't you have a guess? No, it's about the bike, you numpty. Um, I think it was too fake for people to try and guess. But this is what I worked out. We had a 125 running engine in that bike, yes? Perfectly running engine. We swapped it to a 50cc engine that fired up but didn't rev. Um, I told you I felt it was a CDI issue, yes? Coil slash CDI. We took that engine out, we put that engine back in, that engine didn't run well. What did we change to make that engine run well in the end? I can't remember the name, but... The spark plug and the coil. Oh, yeah. Which means... This could be a running working engine. This could be a running working engine. Okay, hook up to this, some... this could be a running working engine, but we didn't. We right. didn't change the coil and spark plug, which we probably should have done. Uh, our theory is that we, we want to put this beside that bike, guys. And... Um, and switch the spark plug from that bike to this engine now without hooking it all up and see if it starts. Does it work like that? You're the mechanic, I don't know. Yeah, it does because the, um, because the spark will be coming from a bike that's all set up and running, wouldn't it? So all we do is bring the spark plug out and over to that one, um, put some fuel through the carb. Does that have a kickstart? That's the only thing that'll, that'll ruin that us. Kickstart, um, the one that was working or the one that wasn't working? I think it works. That one works. I think they both work. All right, cool. Well, we're going to do two things, guys. I'm going to bring the car up to, to, to use that battery to boost this bike. Um, and should we chuck the exhaust on? No, no point until we know it turns over stronger than it was. Uh, yeah, so car's coming up. 
Uh, Sultan's going to start dragging out that battery once he gets up off his feet, off his arse. Um, so do something, drag that engine out. All we're going to do is transfer the spark plug from that to that, put fuel directly through that carb and kick it. Yes, yeah. as long as that engine is on. Yes, all right, that's it, guys. We'll be back in a couple of minutes.